What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we got big news. Some of you guys know this has happened already if you tuned into the live stream. Very exciting news. We got rid of a vehicle. We're driving a different vehicle. And I have some information on our 6.0 power stroke. So super exciting. We're not doing anything really in this upload. We're gonna talk about some stuff that's very exciting to the channel. Stay tuned, we're getting started right now. But first, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, drop your comments down below. What do you think about these very major changes that have happened on the channel? I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments. Okay, first change here is if you notice, this is definitely not our black 6.7 because we no longer have a black 6.7. That's right, we did sell our 2015 6.7 Lariat. I did love that truck, not as much as my white truck. But it was a nice addition for a while, but I felt like I needed to get rid of it. Uh, have a lot going on between school, just changed jobs, and uh, we're really focusing on getting the white truck back. So the black truck is gone, bye bye. We had some cool videos for it. You guys definitely want the 6.0 back, and like I said, with the way the truck market is right now, it just made the most sense for me to get rid of it. I will say this guys, I do plan to get another 6.7 when this truck market nonsense chills out. It's out of control right now. So while we had it, it was fun. Uh, had a lot of changes with it, did a lot of upgrades, fixed a ton of stuff because those guys out in Ohio I bought it from uh, just lied and kind of had me, I was in a tight spot. So whatever, uh, you know, some dealerships are gonna be dealerships and they just kind of suck. Shout out to you guys in Ohio that I bought that truck from. You guys are great people. Anyway, uh, Moving forward though, we sold that. Now I have to give a shout out to my old man because we are borrowing his 7.3 until we get our 6.0 back. So before we get into the update for what's gonna hit, yeah. So before we get into the update on what we're doing with the 6.0 and where that is, I was over at the shop yesterday and I should be at the shop again in the next day or two as well. What are we doing with this relatively stock 7.3? Okay, YouTube, so we're gonna go over what all is done to our all but completely stock 2001 7.3. We've got crew cab short bed, four x four XLT. This truck my dad has actually owned since brand new. So it's been in the family a while. So a while ago, I did the headlight conversion on his truck. Uh, got those in, just went with the clear chrome uh the chrome backing and clear lenses they need cleaned up a little bit they get hazy they're probably like six years old now so i'll probably be doing that while i have it uh we did switch out the badges for him to the f-250 international and the 67 style 7.3 power stroke side emblems there factory wheels this is unfortunate he paid a ton of money to have the rust fixed here and really what happened, the guy just did such a crap job. You can see the weld line. I don't know if this is coming up on video, but uh, it started doing that almost immediately. And he's got it on both sides, so that really stinks. Uh, exhaust, we got a four inch uh, turbo back exhaust Magnaflow system for the 7.3. So four inches, uh, four inch downpipe right off the turbo. Nothing fancy inside, and by nothing fancy, it is all factory. Let's check under the hood for the one modification we have there. So here we are under the hood of this 01 7.3, and the only thing here is a cold air intake. Now, this is a K&N that I got an S&B filter for for him, and you can see he's done a fantastic job of making sure that we keep this thing nice and clean because it's black, it's supposed to be red. That Yeah, that's supposed to be red. So I've already harassed him about that. So things we're gonna do to this truck while it's in our possession, kind of as like a little thank you for him letting me borrow this because I'll probably have this for several months, which will go into exactly why that is. Thank you, wait times on engines. We gotta take care of this. He needs a new filter, he needs a clean one. Um, Anybody that waits for the, these uh, things to trip on your intakes, being kind of goofy, because they never trip. This thing hasn't tripped, and that filter clearly needs cleaned uh, or just replaced. It's probably salvageable, because they are high quality filters, 
but we're gonna probably just get a new one and probably clean that one. Hopefully he does a better job in the future of not letting that crap happen. Next, we gotta clean these headlights up, so I'll probably get one of those kits and do a review. Here you can kinda of see what plastic that hasn't been hit by sun damage looks like versus what it has been. Uh, maybe we'll just get some UV clear and clean these, sand these down really fine and then put the UV clear on and uh, put them back on. So that's an option. We'll look at different options for that, but we'll take care of that while we have it. Uh, fog lights, probably do the same thing. I have headlight uh, bulbs and fog light bulbs for this, so we're actually gonna replace these. They were gonna go on the 6.7. When I decided to get rid of it, I didn't do it, so a company did send bulbs out to the channel, so we're gonna do that review on this truck instead. Next, this grill needs to go. I hate this grill. In 99, this thing was awesome. Welcome to 2021, and I don't like it anymore. So we're not going crazy. We're not doing the Raptor grill. We have a truck with that. Josh has the 05 conversion grill on his that cuts like trims the bottom of the 05 grill. Looks super nice. Over in that garage, we have the original billet grill that came on my white truck. So the grill I took off forever ago, I actually really like the look of. I love the Raptor grill, but I did like the look of that. So we're gonna take the billet piece off of that. We're gonna sand that down, clean that up, throw a light coat of clear on it. So hopefully it lasts a while. And then we're just gonna put that grill on here. Is it the coolest grill out there? Absolutely not, but I do think they're a cool, clean look. And once we clean these headlights up, it'll give the front end a nice pop. All right, get rid of this dumb. Phillips Ford isn't even around anymore. Now, I wanna know what you guys think. He's got the original tow mirrors on this. I was thinking about maybe getting the square style. The only options these have on them are just power. So it's one plug. So I was thinking about getting him the square style. I think they look a little cooler. Next, I'm thinking we get some 08 style taillights on this truck. We're still gonna stick with the red. We're not gonna go like crazy get tinted. Not trying to get my old man pulled over. Uh, he probably wouldn't be super thrilled with me if that happened, but we'll go with the newer style taillights that put the reverse light up here. And they kind of jut out from the uh, body itself. It gives a cool line to them. So I kind of think that'd be neat to do. We'll probably do something with this third brake light up there. Again, sticking to a fairly factory look, just trying to clean it up as like a thank you for everything he had, for him letting me borrow his truck for this long. Probably get a, uh, probably get a six inch or five inch exhaust tip for him. Again, just something kind of like spruce it up a little bit. Nothing crazy though, but just something to, make the truck kind of pop a little bit. It's a pretty clean, it's got a clean look to it other than someone's crappy repair job on the bed. So we're not trying to mess that look up. We want to keep with a nice clean look of this truck. So we're just doing simple modifications to it. Uh, again, everything's pretty tasteful now. It's not over the top at all. It's got a clean look and I want to stick with that. He's not looking for a race truck. He's not looking for anything crazy. I did forget to say he's got 180 uh, stock nozzle injectors in this from full force diesel. He is running tuning and most likely we're going to change his tuning. Probably get him another, uh, probably get tunes from over at blessed performance. They sell, uh, the Hydra module. That's super cool. So we'll probably put that on this truck. I've gotten, I've heard great reviews about it and we'll get that tuned for his setup. I got to call him later today. So that's really it. That's the goal for this truck. We're not doing anything crazy at all. You know, he's uh, one, he's not sure how much longer he wants to keep the truck. To be honest, he's talked about selling it in the next couple of years. So just gonna do a few small things for him. On the inside, depending on how long I have it, probably get a cheap head unit and some door speakers because it sounds terrible in here. And I like decent music and I don't have that right now. This is what I'm working with. To hook my phone up, we got some cassette nonsense it's no good we're riding the struggle bus here super clean truck though i don't know if that's coming through very clean truck anyway though now that we've talked about our 73 our project 73 i guess we can officially call it i affectionately refer to it as project slow and steady my dad loves when i call it that he gets all upset too uh, I, then I got to hear about how great the 7.3 is and stuff so uh, I do love the 7.3 guys don't get me wrong just got to give them a hard time 
but very thankful um, for him letting me have his truck literally for an undetermined amount of time. He, he has a second vehicle, I didn't leave him stranded. Now, I talked to Greg yesterday and he had told me that they were going to be pulling the cab on my 6.0 today. So I am expecting to talk to him later today or early tomorrow, depending on how my schedule goes. But he did say they were pulling it. And literally as soon as they pull that cab and pull the cylinder head and tell me what's wrong, verify that we have an engine issue uh, that's in the bottom end, we're literally turning right around and ordering a Kill Devil diesel engine. Uh, we're not messing around, we're not waiting. Uh, I was looking at Asheville and I talked to Greg to see what he's comfortable with. And uh, we had kind of settled on doing a uh, Kill Devil diesel engine. So I plan to order that this week. And this is why we don't know how long we'll be driving. This around is uh, their wait times. I think they're like 12, 14 weeks out on short blocks. I think they're like 18 weeks out on long blocks. It's gonna be a while. Now we do have the Kill Devil diesel iron cylinder heads on the truck. So as long as they're in good shape, we're gonna take them to a machine shop, have them checked out, make sure they're all good to go. And then we're gonna, if they need it, we can get new wire for the O-rings. If not, we'll just bring them back slap them on the truck went well the new short block when it gets back and uh, we'll be good to go so like i said there's a ton of changes happening on the channel thank you guys for being one so patient with the lack of uploads between school and uh there was like a month and a half where i didn't work less than 56 hours on top of school so it has been hard to try to get content to you guys so i appreciate you guys all being patient being excited we're getting back to live streams as well so like I said, we are keeping as busy as we can here on the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying that as I can get content out to you guys. I know this upload isn't super exciting, especially because you guys still don't see the truck you want to see. But hey, we got a 7.3 on the channel. That's a good time. So anyway, guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop your comments down below. What are you excited about? Do you guys support the changes, not support the changes? Where is everybody at on the channel? Like I said, I do plan to get back into six sevens once the truck market kind of chills out because I do think it is absolutely out of control right now. And that's, uh, that's a lot of the issue, supply and demand. That's super hard. A lot of people are having a hard time getting parts. So it's, it's been a rough go. I don't know what, I think that's a 7.3 that just drove by and that kid drives by all the time. Uh, he'll drive by like six times a day. It's ridiculous. Anyway, YouTube, I look forward to reading your comments and what you guys think of everything going on. I'll see you in the next upload.